Brandon Olin, and welcome to this week's Encore Minute. There's lots of fun to be had this weekend once the rain stops, and I've been told by my friends at the National Weather Service that it will, so let's get right to it. Perhaps you saw my preview of the 40th Maryland Antique Fire Apparatus Muster and Parade in Westminster June 6th. The parade starts at 9.45 a.m. and runs through downtown Westminster, and you can expect about 40 antique fire engines to take part. The fire trucks will wind up at the Carroll County Farm Museum's outer grounds, some will pump water, others there will just be there to be pretty for everyone to look at. Also taking place June 6th, Art in the Park on the grounds of Westminster City Hall. Rather than have me talk about Art in the Park, I figured I would allow Carroll County Arts Council Director Sandy Ox to do the honors. I'm looking forward to Art in the Park, which takes place this Saturday, June 6th. Rain or shine from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Art in the Park has actually been uh, a long-standing tradition here in Carroll County. It's been running at least 20 years and it's just a wonderful gathering of visual artists from the community as well as performers and other cultural organizations. Art in the Park primarily is a display of visual artists from the region and we really pride ourselves in having uh, fine artists as opposed to mass-produced crafts. There's a lot of wonderful craft festivals in the area, uh, but this is truly unique with one-of-a-kind fine art. And of course the performing arts are a big part of Art in the Park. Throughout the day there's roaming musicians and entertainers, uh, so you don't have to spend time sitting in a chair um, watching a show on stage. Um, they create music throughout the event to create just a wonderful ambiance of continuous music throughout the day. We are constantly trying to inspire and encourage people to invest in original art. Um, we all know that you can buy wonderful mass-produced prints um, at just about every store, but investing in a piece of art where you are the only person who will ever have that creation um, is just a wonderful way to support working artists and to have some have a unique investment that is going to grow in monetary value as well as um, being a treasure part of your art collection. That'll do it for Encore this week. Be sure to check back next week where we'll have a few highlights of what took place this weekend.